Hello everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here. I've been getting tons of emails, texts, and phone calls about methylene blue and should people use this. And as a nitric oxide biochemist, I've never understood the use of methylene blue because we've used it in the research lab for the past 25 years as a very specific pharmacological tool to inhibit nitric oxide-based signaling. In fact, we understand the signaling aspects of nitric oxide because of things like methylene blue, which completely inhibit nitric oxide-based signaling, specifically as it relates to nitric oxide activating soluble guanylate cyclase, mediating vasodilation, uh, improvement in blood flow, inhibition of platelet aggregation. So this whole concept and fad about methylene blue is just completely baffles me scientifically and biochemically. As I've told you, it's never a good idea to chronically inhibit nitric oxide-based signaling. Your body cannot and will not heal without nitric oxide. And then there's some so-called nitric oxide thought leaders out there telling people, take your nitric oxide along with methylene blue. To me, that's, I mean, it, it would be comical if it wasn't dangerous. Why would you take a compound that inhibits another compound you're about to take? Nitric oxide is extremely important. Anything that inhibits or shuts down nitric oxide production is not good for you. So I just warn you, take caution. Obviously, these are dose-dependent effects. Microdosing with methylene blue may be completely different. The chronic administration of methylene blue we've used for 25 years in the lab to specifically inhibit nitric oxide-based signaling. So I don't take methylene blue for those reasons. We need oxygen. We need nitric oxide. We need blood flow. Methylene blue inhibits all of those. So take caution. Thank you.